Got to get your guesses in soon before I tell you what we're making. Just kidding. It's probably going to be in the title of the video. Today we are making a gingerbread loaf, people. I've never made anything gingerbread um, before. I've never made a, any kind of loaf or bread before. I made a cake from scratch one time. So cute. Gingerbread man. So cute. I should tie my hair back. I look like a colonial woman now, but that's okay. Okay, so as you guys know, we are here to make a gingerbread loaf. Um, this is not my recipe. This recipe is actually going to be from Pillsbury. Pillsbury Doughboy himself gave me this recipe. <laughs> It's weird, but okay. So I don't have actual pans. These are just like those little tin ones you can get at the store. So I already greased these puppies and we're ready to go. We're going to beat the brown sugar and butter with an electric mixer on medium speed until light and fluffy. So that's one cup of packed brown sugar. Okay, there we go. Perfect. One cup packed brown sugar into the bowl we go. Goodbye. Three fourths a cup of butter or margarine softened. Uh-oh, my margarine is not softened. Okay, that looks like uh, three-fourths a cup of margarine to me. Mmm, <laughs> margarine. You know, nothing really says the holidays quite like giving people baked goods. So this says to beat these guys, beat them up on a medium, medium. Ah! All right, clearly my butter is not softened enough, but I'm just gonna keep doing this until it loosens up a bit and whatever. But so far, I don't think it's supposed to look like this. We are going to beat these guys till they're light and fluffy, and for now, I'm not seeing that really happening. So now, in a small bowl, we're gonna do the molasses, the water, and the baking soda. I had such a hard time finding this in the store. I finally found this. This one's called Grandma's Molasses. Original, gold standard since 1890. Look at her. There she is. She's a star. Which that's another thing. This recipe calls for baking soda and baking powder. So make sure you're, you have both and make sure you're paying attention. So we're gonna do just one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon. Here's a cool thing. If you guys can't ever open these kinds of lids, like these kind of like gel, jams and jelly lids, you can just hit it with like the back of something all the way around. And it like loosens up the seal. And you can open it. Ew, grandma's molasses since 1890. <laughs> okay. Drink up. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to now add a cup of the boiling water to our molasses and our baking soda. I'm gonna stir those things together and then we are going to beat them into the first mixture we were just doing, so. Whoa. I don't know, guys. I just don't know if it looks right. I don't know if it's gonna taste right. We just don't know these things. Okay, guys, I'm gonna set aside this weird mixture here and then I'm gonna do just another bowl. We're just gonna dirty up every bowl I have. Apparently, that's what baking is and we are gonna do all the uh, dry ingredients. So, <laughs> let's just transfer this weird mixture out of here. Excuse me, weird mixture. You're very weird, I'm gonna move you out of the way. Cause you're weird. You're weird. There, stay there. Stay over there, I don't like you. You're weird. Okay. We're gonna do other things here. So we're gonna do uh, two and three fourths cups of flour. I got unbleached, cause that seems right. It seems like we should be eating unbleached items. 
I don't know. Now we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. Then we're gonna do four teaspoons of ground ginger. Do you guys watch the uh, British Baking Show? I do. I watch it and I love the way they talk. So we're gonna do four teaspoons, four teaspoons of ground ginger. Wow, did that sound good? Uh, give this video a thumbs up if I sounded good just then. Teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Here's our dry mixture so far. Cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground allspice. Half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay, this is bad. Uh, I don't have the kind of baking salt. I'm gonna use Himalayan salt. It's probably wrong. I'm, you, there, uh, I'm gonna use it anyway, okay. All right, well, that looked like a one-fourth a teaspoon. Okay, so here's our other weird mixture again. It says to um, gradually stir this dry ingredient mix into here. So that's what I'm gonna do. She's got the ginger in the wild here. So I stirred together everything here. This is our finished mixture. It smells pretty damn good. Evenly distribute these in the pans. Let's make sure there's enough for both. Oops. I don't want any of this to go to waste. Oh, it smells really, really delicious. Those look pretty spanking even to me. These puppies are now going to go into the preheated 350 degree oven and they're gonna go in for 50 to 60 minutes. So I'm gonna keep my peepers on them and see and then you'll know they're ready when you put the toothpick in and it comes out dry. You know what I'm saying? We'll see about that. All right guys, have fun in there. See you soon. See you soon. I'm going to finish cleaning my station and uh, my station. I really think I'm on a cooking show right now. And then we're gonna keep an eye on these guys. So see ya in an hour. So I'm gonna do the toothpick test. It's been 50 minutes. Let's see what's going on in here. Whoa, we've got loaves. We've got some loaves here, people. Look at them. They are just little infant babies. We're gonna wait 15 minutes right now. We're gonna let these guys cool and then we're gonna take them out of here. Let's just do that. Let's just have a cool time. Cool time. Okay, everyone, cool time. I love myself. I'm now going to let them cool all the way. So I'm gonna let them hang out for about an hour. Uh, that's what the rules say. And then I'm gonna put a powdered sugar glaze on them. Okay, so these have cooled. They are now ready for the icing. So I'm just gonna pour some powdered sugar in here. And when I say some, I mean quite a hefty amount. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of water and stir this together and that is going to make a glaze. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that looks so good. I've really outdone myself now. There we have it, people. My gingerbread loaves. Wow, I truly feel like I have created a joy in the form of a loaf. I just need to soak in this glorious moment before I cut into one of these. I put the other one away. I'm now going to cut a piece and eat it. Would you look at that? And now I'm going to eat it. Here we go. Gingerbread. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> wow, okay, so my camera died right as I was taking my bite of my beloved gingerbread loaf. So that was rude, but I went ahead and ate the whole piece that I cut myself. It was delicious. Has that ginger bite, so festive and yummy and great and the um, little glaze on top really adds something. So here it is, I put it back in a little tin thing and it comes with the lid, so these things are handy. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching another little episode of Never Made It. 
so let's make it. If you have any other ideas of things that I should attempt to make for this segment, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and happy holidays. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.